guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another cooking video today i'm super excited because i'm gonna be making my fancy steak i'm gonna be making filet mignon on stove top and my family absolutely loves this recipe so i'm gonna teach you guys how i do it and it's super simple and it's so delicious and just in case you guys are wondering i'm not 12 years old i'm actually 20 years old i got a haircut like literally an hour ago and i'm wearing no makeup so it's making me look like a straight up fetus but trust me, a 12 year old is not teaching you how to make steak, a 20 year old is. <laughs> and this recipe is so easy that you only need six ingredients. Right here I have some rosemary, I have some salt, some thyme, some black pepper, vegetable oil, and kosher salt. You guys need to make sure that you get the coarse kosher salt and not fine sea salt because this is the salt that's going to penetrate and that's going to make the steak taste delicious. And of course, you're going to need steak. And this actually came in three pieces, but the steak was so thick. It was like around this thick that I just sliced them all in half. And this is what they look like. And it's very important that if you want your steak a certain way, you get a cooking thermometer so today i'm gonna cook my steak well done and medium well which is how i like it so this is the scale that i go off of i found this on google images the more rare that you make your steak the juicier it will be but i prefer mine more on the well done side and today i'm gonna cook mine medium well so i'm trying to get it at 150 155 degrees and for my family members i'm cooking at well done which is above 160 degrees and do not worry because even though I'm cooking the steak well done, I promise you it's still going to be juicy and it's not going to be dry at all. So the first thing that we want to do is that we want to get some paper towels and we want to take away all the moisture from the steak to make sure that the steak isn't wet. Now that I've patted all of my steaks dry, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And I'm just going to generally add the salt. And then I'm just going to push it into my meat so that it sticks. Now I'm gonna take some pepper and I'm gonna be very generous with the pepper as well, about this amount. And just like I did with my salt, I'm gonna push it in and just make sure it sticks. And now I'm going to be doing the same thing to the other side. And this side of the steak is a little gray because I left it in the fridge for three days after I pushed the steak because I just didn't have time to cook it. But the sooner you make the steak, the better so that it just stays with that pink color which means that it's fresh. And this is basically it. We are done seasoning this steak. I did forget to show you guys a very important ingredient, which is garlic. I don't know why, but in every single one of my videos, I always leave out the garlic and I forget and like put it in last minute and forget to tell you guys. So I'm gonna take a couple of pieces of garlic I'm gonna crush them just a little bit just like this and I'm gonna have these ready for when I start cooking my steak 
So now that it's time to cook my steak, I'm gonna preheat the pan to the highest setting. So I am using a cast iron pan, but you guys can use any other pan that you like. But for cooking steak, I think that this is the most recommended one and the one that's used the most. It's also a good idea to use a cast iron skillet because if you want your steak well done, and for example, you keep flipping it and it's not cooking all the way like you want it, you could just pop it in for a couple minutes in the oven while it finishes cooking all the way. Now that my skillet is hot, I'm just gonna add my oil. And I'm literally just adding just a little bit. So that it just coats the bottom. So always make sure that when you drop the steak, the oil is very hot so that you can get a nice even brown color and so that the fat can cook evenly. After dropping my steak, I let it cook for about 5 minutes and then I pull out my thermometer. And if I want my steak well done at 160, I make sure that it reaches 80 or 90, half its cooking time before I flip it. Before flipping my steak, I also make sure to reduce the fire to the 5 setting, so from the highest to like halfway, so that my steak doesn't burn as I cook it. Right after flipping our steak, we want to act fast and start gradually adding our butter. We then want to add in our garlic cloves as well as some rosemary and some thyme. And this stuff makes your house smell so delicious. It also gives the steak a really, really good flavor. Here you can see me adding a little bit more butter and I used almost more than half of the steak of butter and in total that's 3 tablespoons of butter and I just kept pouring the butter over the steak to make it juicy and as it cooked through I constantly kept doing this stuff. I constantly check the temperature of my steak so that I can take out my medium well done steak out before it was fully cooked and that's that piece right there and my last piece was the most well done piece and I took this one out last. I'm gonna cut in half my well done piece of steak so that you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. And as you can see, when I'm splitting into it, it's still juicy. The juices come out of it. It looks super tender and it's completely well done. There's no pink inside it. So I finished cooking my steak and I'm eating it with some sweet potatoes. And this is how it looks like. Mine came out on the more well done side. I like it medium well, but it's still good because it's still juicy and I don't mind well done as long as it's not dry. So I'm gonna try it. I've already tried it, so I'm just gonna pretend I'm trying it for the first time. Mmm, the steak is so good guys. I mean, it's so crazy how easy it is to make. One time I went to Texas Roadhouse and I bit into a steak and by mistake I asked for it well done and it was so dry. But the steak is so tender and good and with these sweet potatoes, mmm. I don't want to gas myself up but... If it's taking a little while to like propose and you don't know what's going on, cook him the steak and you're gonna have a ring by next week. I promise you because the steak is so good. Okay guys, so that's gonna be the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do give this recipe a try, don't forget to comment and tell me how it went. The steak is so good and I know I probably said that a million times, but my mom and my uncle have told me that they've never had a steak that tender and delicious at any restaurant before. 
so i'm just gonna take that as a it's pretty good anyways i'll see you guys on my next video bye